What is Bitcoin mining? How to generate free Bitcoin from my computer? Is it still profitable to mine Bitcoin these days? How to calculate profit and which is best mining hardware? We will answer all these questions and much more. Disclaimer: This video is for education and entertainment purpose only. Don't take it as a financial advice. To educate you about crypto is our goal. So don't miss to subscribe Richard.Crypto. Bitcoin was created as a decentralized alternative to banking system. But how do you create a system that has a decentralized ledger? How do you give someone the ability to update ledger without giving them so much power that they will be corrupt or negligent in their work? Well, these rules of the Bitcoin system known as a protocol solve this in a very creative way. In short, anyone who want to participate in updating the ledger of Bitcoin transaction known as the blockchain can do so. All you need to do is guess a random number that solve an equation generated by the system. Of course, this guessing is all done by your computer. The more power of your computer you have, the more guessing you have to make per second. Thus, increasing your chance of winning this game if you manage to guess the right you own Bitcoin and get right the next page of Bitcoin transaction on the blockchain. In detailed breakdown of the mining process, once your mining computer comes up with the right guess, your mining program determines which of the currently pending transactions will be grouped together into the next block of transactions, who gets to update the Bitcoin transaction ledger known as the blockchain. The block you have created along with your solution is sent to the whole network so other computers can validate it. Each computer that validates your solution updates its copy of the Bitcoin transaction ledger with the transaction that you have chosen to include in the next block. As you can imagine since the mining is based on a form of guessing, for each block a different miner will be guessed the number and be granted the right to update the blockchain. Of course, the miner with more computing power will succeed more often, but due to the law of statistical probability, it is highly unlikely that the same miner will do so every time. After this stage is complete, the system generates a fixed amount of bitcoins and rewards them to you as a compensation for the time and energy you spend in solving the maths problem. Additionally, you get paid any transaction fees that were attached to the transactions you insert into this block. So that's Bitcoin mining, it's called mining because of the fact that this process helps mine new Bitcoin from the system. But if you think about it, the mining part is a byproduct of the transaction verification process. So the name is bit misleading since the main goal of mining is to maintain the ledger in a decentralized manner. Satoshi Nakamoto who invented Bitcoin craft the rules for mining in a way that the more mining power the network has, the harder it to guess the answer to mining math problem. So the difficulty of the mining process is actually self existing to the accumulated mining power the network process. If more miner joins, it will get harder to solve the problem. If many of them drop off, it will get easier. And this is known as the mining difficulty. So why on earth did Satoshi do this? Well, he wanted to create a steady flow of new Bitcoin to the system. In sense, this was done to keep inflation in check. The mining difficulty is set so that on average a new block will be added every 10 minutes. When Bitcoin first started out, there were not a lot of miners out there. In fact, Satoshi, the inventor of Bitcoin, and his friend Halfine were some of the few people mining Bitcoin back at the time with their own personal computer. Using your CPU, meaning your central processing unit or your computer's brain, was enough for mining Bitcoin back in 2009 since the mining difficulty was low. As Bitcoin started to catch on, the people looked for more powerful mining solution. Gradually, people moved to GPU mining. A GPU or graphics processing unit is a special component added to computers to carry out more complex calculations. GPU were originally intended to allow gamers to run computer games with intense graphics requirement. 
बिकॉज ऑफ देयर आर्किटेक्चर दे बिकम पॉपुलर इन द फील्ड ऑफ क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड अराउंड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन पीपल ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड यूजिंग देम टू माइन बिटकॉइंस फॉर रेफरेंस द माइनिंग पावर ऑफ वन जी पी यू इक्वल्स देट ऑफ अराउंड थर्टी सी पी यूज अनदर इवेल्यूशन कम लेटर विथ एफ पी जी ए माइनिंग एफ पी जी ए इज अ पीस ऑफ हार्डवेयर देट कैन बी कनेक्टेड टू अ कॉम्प्यूटर इन ऑर्डर टू रन अ सेट ऑफ कैलकुलेशंस दे आर जस्ट लाइक अ जी पी यूज बट थ्री टू हंड्रेड टाइम फास्टर द डाउन साइड इज देट दे आर आर्डर टू कॉन्फिगर विच इज वाई दे वेरंट एज कॉमनली यूज इन माइनिंग एज जी पी यूज फाइनली अराउंड टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन अ न्यू ब्रेड ऑफ माइनर वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द एसिक माइनर एसिक स्टैंड फॉर एप्लीकेशन स्पेसिफिक इंट्रीगेटेड सर्किट and this were piece of hardware manufacturing solely for the purpose of mining bitcoin unlike gpus cpus and fpgas they couldn't be used to do anything else their function was hard coded into the machines asic miners are the current mining standard some early asic miners even appear in the form of a usb but they become obsolete rather quickly now that you know what are miners Other thing that you are going to need is a wallet while it's essentially like a bank account number for your cryptocurrency so that whatever service you are using can actually deposit it to you and you get credit for all the cryptocurrency that you are mining like when your employee does direct deposit to your bank account now wallets can be stored on internet or in a physical hardware more detailed video about wallet in our channel so don't miss to watch that but is bitcoin mining actually profitable today well the short answer is probably not the correct answer is it's depend on a lot of factors when calculating bitcoin mining profitabilities there were lot of things you need to take into accounts let's go over them quickly number 1 hash rate a hash is the mathematical problem miners computers need to solve The hash rate refers to your miner's performance or how many guesses your computer can make per second. Hash rate can be measured in the mega hash per second, giga hash per second, tera hash per second and even penta hash per second. Number 2 Bitcoin rewards per block. This refers to the number of bitcoin generated when a miner finds the solution. This number start at 50 bitcoin back in 2009 and how every 210 Thousand blocks about four years. The current number of Bitcoin awarded per block is six point two five. The last block having occurred in May two thousand twenty, and the next one will be in two thousand twenty four at block eight four zero k. This is a number that represents how hard it is to mine bitcoins at a certain moment, according to the amount of mining power currently active in the system. Number three, electricity cost. How many dollar are you paying per kilowatt? You will need to find out your electricity rate in order to calculate profitability. This can be usually be found on your monthly electricity bill. The reason is this important is because miner consume electricity whether for powering up the miner or for cooling it down as these machines can get really hot. Number 4 miner power consumption Each miner consumes a different amount of energy. You will need to find out the exact power consumption of your miner before calculating profitability. This can be found easily with the quick charts on the internet. Power consumption is measured in the watt. Number 5 pool fees. If you are mining through a mining pool, then the pool will take a certain percentage of your earnings for rendering that service. Number 6 bitcoin's price. Since no one know what bitcoin price will be in the future it's hard to predict if bitcoin mining will be profitable if you are planning to convert your mine btc in the future to any other currency this variable will be significant impact on your profitability and finally number 7 the difficulty increase per year this is probably the most important and exclusive variable of them all The idea is that since no one can actually predict the rate of miners joining the network neither can anyone predict how difficult it will be to mine in 6 weeks 6 month or 6 years from now in fact in all the time bitcoin has existed probability has dropped only handful of times even at time when the price was relatively low
द लास्ट टू फैक्टर आर द रीजन दैट नो वन कैन विल एवर बी एबल टू गिव अ कंप्लीट आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन इज बिटकॉइन माइनिंग प्रॉफिटेबल वंस यू हैव ऑल ऑफ दिस वेरिएबल एट एंड यू कैन इंसर्ट देम इनटू अ बिटकॉइन माइनिंग कैलकुलेटर एंड गेट अन एस्टिमेटेड ऑफ हाउ मच बिटकॉइन यू विल अर्न ईच मंथ If you can't get positive result on the calculator it probably means that you don't have the right condition for mining to be profitable you may still have some questions if so just leave them in the comment section below and if you enjoy what you have seen don't forget to hit the like button then make sure to subscribe richard.crypto and i will see you in the next amazing video